Hi guys, it's Doreen and welcome back to my channel. I've been waiting so long to do this video and I'm super excited that I finally get to film it. And the reason why is because this video took a really long time to make. And that is because I've been following this kind of challenge video that's been going on on YouTube. I'm sure some of you guys have seen it, but I want to do somebody, like copy somebody's photo that I haven't seen being done before. Like I've seen a lot of Kylie Jenner and a lot of like super duper famous people. So I wanted to do something a little different. I've been watching a lot of these videos and a lot of people, they put a lot of effort into it. And I said that if I was gonna do this, I was gonna go all out. So there's this YouTuber slash Instagram type of model that I've been following recently. And her name is Lisa Marie Schiffner. I believe that's how you pronounce her last name. Uh, she is German and she has, I think around like maybe 800,000 followers on Instagram. So she's pretty significant. She has, I think, around 200,000 subscribers on YouTube and around 1.2 million on Musical.ly. So that's really what she's known for. She posts really positive videos and just very happy photos and very unique photos as well. And her edits are absolutely amazing. So I wanted to try to recreate that. There was a lot of similar clothes that we had and I went through her Instagram and just chose photos that wouldn't be too difficult for me to recreate. So there's no particular order in these photos. This is just what I chose. And I'm not gonna ramble on too much, but let's just get right into this video. So the first photo I chose was this bath photo with a whole bunch of flowers and Honestly, this one was really, really difficult for me to recreate. I think it's probably one of the hardest ones and it was also the first one that I tried. I think that we pretty much nailed it though, but the main issue was for me is that I had a lot of hard time just because my head needed to be underwater while my face was above water. And that included my ears being in the water so I couldn't really hear Alexander giving me direction. I just had to sit very still and it was also very difficult because if the water wasn't completely still, then the flowers would keep moving around. So always Alexander had to readjust them. Hi guys, so we're taking the underwater photo on Alexander for all the flowers. He's starting to bring them. I got these flowers from the flower market or something in downtown Los Angeles. And they were really cheap and they're dying because we were missing a lot of things. We have some white roses and a kitten. <laughs> I'm kidding, she's not gonna be in that video. In, a, in this photo, sorry, not the video. I don't have any tube tops, I did, but I didn't think I needed it, so I gave it away a long time ago. But I'm just gonna use this black shirt and then fold it, so it's just gonna be covering my upper chest area. And then we have the bath to fall filled up with the ring light right here. It's filled up. Alexander's gonna get in the tub with me to take the photos with the camera already. I also have swimsuit bottoms, so yeah, I'm super excited to set this one up. It's gonna be very interesting. And let's get right into the photos. Put this one over here. That's actually really hot. Ow. I need to, I'll, I'll need to wait. But it should be up until here. Most well, so of my ears are in, I can't hear anything. I see. Well, it should be in until there. Yeah. <sighs> Feels so weird. Keep the way you are right now, and then I'll, I'll put your hands. I'll just put I the can't flowers. I you very well. Just put. Keep your hands like this, and don't move. Okay. Okay. <laughs> These are all out of the water, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Do we have one? I think so. Good? 
Can it come out? Yeah. Overall, I think that I give this photo a 10 out of 10 just because of the difficulty level and I honestly think it looks really accurate when you look at the side-by-side -side comparison. Obviously, if I wanted to look exactly 100% like hers, like contacts, everything, um, I would have honestly just took her photo and posted it as mine. And that's not the point of this challenge. This challenge is to try to create a photo as much as you can and the best to your ability. The next photo I did, I actually filmed it and did the photo twice, but the first time I just was going through all the photos and I was not happy with a single one of them. So I decided to come back and redo it again. And the hardest part about this photo was getting the pose correct because for one, she's a lot skinnier than I am and honestly going through this challenge, I was feeling very self-conscious about my body and honestly like taking these photos, I wouldn't have posted them other than for this challenge and a lot of them I wasn't the most happy with but at the same time, I still said, okay, I still want to post it and that kind of felt pretty good for me to, even though I wasn't the most happy with it, I still posted it anyways. So we are here in the beautiful hidden hills of Calabasas, California. We're going to be filming the bench picture. This is my outfit of the day. I got it from Fashion Nova. I got some New Balance shoes and some black socks that Alexander gave me. I just quickly painted my nails blue. As you guys can see, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> and then we got my makeup done and I just did my hair too. So let's get started. And then how's There's the hair? A lot of shadows again. Now. I think the bench that she's sitting in is very flat, right? Mm -hmm. Smile, baby, smile. <coughs> uh, shoulder more up. Yeah. Work it, baby. Woo! See, is the shadows again? You know. Yeah. Like perfect, except for this one is still, this one needs to be higher, right? <laughs> oh, I love you! I love you! Open! Yay, cutie! What? Don't... What if I like lean backwards? Oh yeah, because that's what we passed over. No, just stay from higher up. You're not going to tell. Right? <laughs> But your head is to go so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect though. Oh uh, yeah, 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 keep doing that. Yeah, smile. Yeah, I think we got it now. Okay. Oh my god, that is perfect. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> we can't before we stop recording by now or not. Finally, we found something that was the most similar, it took a really long time, and I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Overall, I'd give this photo maybe a 6.5 out of 10, maybe a little bit on the lower side, maybe a 5, but for the pose and the composition and everything, I think that this was the best I could do. This next photo was extremely difficult and mainly because we just don't have any snow right now in California and she just has a whole mountain of snow behind her. So I just decided to try to look for a place that had a lot of mountains and in the background a lot of mountains. But overall, I just decided to completely Photoshop the background, or not me, Alexander did it for me, but completely Photoshop the background because even though it was a very gloomy day and that kind of helped to tone and mute down the colors a little bit, then I still needed to have that background be very vivid. So I just decided to just take the photo and Photoshop it. The rose. We have the rose, the dead rose, and we have my angel wings and this child side skirt that's super short. <laughs> but I just ran quickly because I almost forgot the rose. I'm like, wait, we gotta get it. There's two motorcycles just now waving at us and I feel like Elle in the kissing booth with my very short skirt. You can see my underwear from the back. Oh jeez girl, check out that. 
Wait. Oh, oh, oh my word. coming out and it's beautiful because we don't have any snow in LA so wait should I talk about my outfit then yeah. the skirt is a child size and it's from dress link and then this top is from Forever 21 it's actually uh, has a collar built in but I just put it in the back and then I rolled up the sleeves and the top is tucked into my sports bra and then the wings I just ordered them online from Jet and the flower was from Ventura and I just dried it myself a few months ago <laughs> And yeah, I think that's it. Shoes aren't important because they're not in the picture. <laughs> but they're from Target. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Tell me I'm crazy, I'm crazy, that you feel the same. Why don't you walk away? How can I make you stay? This photo was honestly very difficult for me to post, but just because I just felt like it didn't fit in with everything else, especially with the snow. I think I'll probably give this one a 5 out of 10. This next photo was the stairs at the beach photo. And this one, it was hard for me because I really didn't have an outfit that was similar to hers. I saw that she did have an EF, which is I think like education first. And it's like a school for international students or something. And they probably just gave her a shirt to have. So obviously I couldn't get the exact same top that she had. I just borrowed Alexander's UCLA shirt, which I think was okay because it was gray. It had the lettering with the white outline. So I thought that was fine. For the shorts, I just used some shorts that I had. I rarely wear them, but they were a little bit ripped up. Hers were a lot more high-waisted than mine. But of course, I just had to make it work. And then shoes, I just used some Nike shoes. I don't know how well you guys can hear me, but we are doing the picture on the stairs. There's a lot of people today, it's super busy, but we set up the camera on the tripod, and whenever there's like no batch of people, that's when we're gonna go. Is it recording? Yeah, it's already recording. Okay, good. The most difficult part about this photo is that there was a lot of people at the beach this day because it was a Sunday and there was just a lot of people needing to go up and down the stairs because that was the only way to get to the beach. So yeah, it was hard for me because I couldn't have too many poses or too many options. I think maybe we took like 10 to 15 photos or something. This picture honestly came out the worst in my opinion. I just feel like it looks super photoshopped and that's because I had to photoshop it, especially with the background and everything. But I think that I probably will give this one a 3 out of 10. Next we have the photo on the floor with the mascara and my hair and hearts. Again, I just used the same outfit from Fashion Nova and it wasn't too hard to do. I just had to sit very still and pretty much Alexander was doing all the work. Same with the first photo of the flowers. It was just Alexander doing all the work, me just sitting there trying my best not to move. So yeah, I really enjoyed this one. It was a lot of fun to do. I think it came out pretty accurate. We're doing the picture now where she is lying down. I'm super excited because I think I got my makeup pretty much on point. And I found this rug that really took me forever to find. I went to probably around 10 different stores. We found something similar and it's gorgeous and it was only 20 bucks. 
so that's good thank you tj maxx this is our setup for right now we have the camera the lighting or my ring light and another umbrella light and the kitten is in the room so she doesn't mess up the rug or play with the cords so let's get started alexander i'm ready airbrush and then it's like easier to do. Mm -hmm. There's like a nice heart. Yeah. So this one like this where she's showing it off. The leg like this. It's like straight and then this one like this, right? So more up. Mm -hmm. And this one. This, one. this is closing. Your pinky is, your pinky is closing. I said I can't see Not it. Not like this. This. I said I do. Oh, I have long ass nails. Yeah, but like, not like this. <laughs> like this. This. Do this. I can't do that. Tell me I'm not crazy that you feel the same. Oh, don't you walk away? How can I make you stay? Overall, I think this photo went very, very well, and I give it a seven out of ten. The second to last photo was the close-up and this one wasn't too difficult. I just had a lot of problems with Daisy wanting to play with the cords and everything. So it wasn't anything too crazy. We just ended up putting her in the room and she would meow a lot, but it was fine. There wasn't too much to it. There wasn't too much composition in it. So I didn't have to worry too much about my outfit or anything. It was just mainly my makeup, hair, and a black t-shirt. Here we go. Okay guys, so we are doing the close-up photo and there's not much to this. She's wearing a black shirt, uh, so that's what I have. And then I just put my hair up in a bun. I ha still have my nails, but it doesn't matter because you're not going to see them. Honestly, I don't think she's wearing any nail polish, but this is our setup. And let's get started. We just have two of my lights, which is going to give us the right shadowing. Uh, a little bit higher, lower. And also the edges are not good. Yeah. So maybe if, if you do... Why don't we try with my big camera? Why are we using my phone? Why are we using the phone? Well, because you want to... I don't know. My big camera's right there. Okay. <laughs> Did they even do anything yet? They didn't try? Mm-hmm. It looks so much better. <laughs> that one piece of hair at the top? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't Careful. see it. Stop it. Don't play with this, it's not a toy. Well, okay. Why don't you put it one up so it's in a video mode and then you can see it here and compare it to that one. <laughs> oh my god. If it wouldn't have touched it here, we'll Oh my around. god. Okay, enough. Actually, put it in the room. And yeah, let's we'll stick at the plant though. No play with the plant. And then stand stand on your two feet, even like this, so we have your balance. Okay. I think that's the one, maybe. It's okay, you're not having a shirt on. <laughs> so if you zoom in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn. Long ass I think it's good. I think I need to let my hair be a little bit more. See how it's really tight okay. and tough? Yeah. That body's a blessing, girl. I ain't trying to pressure her. She messed with the temperature. I wrote this song, but I am... I think side by side these photos look very accurate and there are a few subtle differences such as the shadowing of hers being a little bit more darker than mine but other than that I think that overall this photo came out very very well and I will give this photo also a 7 out of 10. 
right, and finally we've gotten to the last photo and I actually have two photos for the last one, but I did, I did it that way to kind of decide between which one I wanted to use. So I had some options. They're in the same location, same everything. It's just two different style of photos. So one of them is with the donut and one of them is just holding the hair. And I don't know why my hair didn't want to curl that day. I guess because it was a very gloomy day and my hair just like did not want to stay up at all. So my curls, by the time that we actually got to Santa Monica, they had completely fallen and they were getting a little bit more straight while hers are very voluminous and staying in the place. But I think that this photo was the most easy to do because it was just the location and the outfit and everything and the poses weren't so complicated. I think we were done maybe within like 10 minutes. I definitely think this one was the easiest out of everyone to create. I just wore the top from Fashion Nova. I wore a Calvin Klein bra that just had a very thick strap at the bottom. And I just wore some workout pants. I couldn't find pants that had the stripe like she did, but I just put the workout pants and then just photoshopped the stripe on the side. I wore some socks from Alexander and some Converse shoes. So we are here, these are the wings, and we even got a little donut. This one is a lavender sky, so it has little sparkles on it. We couldn't find the pink one that she had, but I think we're just gonna Photoshop it. Yep. <laughs> and we also got some extra donuts for my family, because we're probably gonna go visit them on the way back. And yeah, we'll do both pictures just in case I decide to do one or the other. Mm-hmm. If you guys are curious to know how the donut photo came out, I'll have it right here so you can see them side by side in comparison. And that's pretty much it. If you guys want to go check out these photos, it will be on my Instagram. And my Instagram handle is at Doreen Angel with an underscore at the end. So you guys can go check them out, comment down below what you think. I'm definitely going to tag her in these photos now that this challenge is over. And if you want, you can tag her as well. I would love to hear her opinion and what she thinks of these photos. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So I'll see you guys in my next video next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!